There are lots of techniques and ways of uh, doing corners for leather bindings. Um, but I'd like to just show you uh, the, the method that I use more than anything now. Um, this is obviously just a bit of sample board with, with uh, some scrap leather on just to show you how, how to do this. And it's actually full thickness here, so it must be about, about a millimetre thick. Normally I would actually have this much thinner, probably about uh, 0.5 millimetres all around uh, the turnings. But for demonstration this will this will be absolutely fine. Uh, I should say this is a method which I saw uh, Don Etherington use, who's a, a very well known binder in the States. Um, and I've used several methods of doing corners, but this is the one that I tend to use more than anything. And it's very straightforward. Um, basically what we're going to do is cut the corner off as you would expect. That also needs to be a little distance away from the corner of the board. Um, so I would normally just do this by eye, but just to get a feel for what I'm aiming for. Um, the cut as always would be uh, at 45 degrees or thereabouts. Um, so it's going to be around about there. So that's the corner that I'm going to cut off. Um, so as far as the distance is concerned, that's going to depend on the thickness of the board. Uh, but this method cleverly uh, means that you don't actually need to figure that out. It sort of happens automatically. So I'll use this granite slab as a paring stone. Um, and all I'm going to do is cut that corner off. But I'm going to do that uh, by actually touching the back of the blade to the corner of the board. And I'm going to hold it at about between 30 and 45 degrees. Um, something of that sort of angle. And so I'm just going to slide that down so it's touching the corner of the board. That happens to be pretty much where that line is actually, that's coincidental. Um, and just slice off along that angle. Like so. So what we end up with of course is a, is a, a chamfer, uh, an, an angle on there. Now if we were just to turn that in we get a a sort of awkward corner. So what we have to do is just using a scalpel just cut out a little right angle which almost goes, not quite, but almost goes to the corner of the board. Hopefully you can see that. Um, and that essentially then will fold in. Now what happens, what we're looking for is for these two angles to go on top of each other so that you get a minimal bump like so. And that's worked quite nicely. So I'm just going to glue that in position. In fact, I'll use, I'll use PVA just to demonstrate it, though normally it would be paste, of course. So I'll just glue up that. Imagine this is paste. We use paste, incidentally, because it gives us time to manipulate things and um, it helps to uh, take the pressure off when you're you know, um, gluing leather. Um, in fact, I might use a mixture. See how that soaks straight into the leather. So a bit of paste on top of that. I'll keep the leather nice and supple for us to work with. Um, and then one goes down like so. The other one goes on top like so. Now, of course, I've done this very quickly, but um, Hopefully you'll be able to see the effect. Let's get a good press for a second. And I would spend a few moments just working this corner, making sure everything's in position. Nice and neat. Use a little um, device just to help press it down. There we go. But the important thing is that there's no lump there. It's, it's almost exactly flat. It's a really nice neat method and simple method of doing it. And it's, it's just about getting the angle right. If you don't get the angle right, here's one that I was playing with earlier, where the angle was too steep, the angle of the blade was too steep. So that distance isn't wide enough. And what you end up with there is a gap. So the angle of the blade is the critical thing here. 
And so it's better if you do it about 30 degrees to start off with, um, because you can always cut it back a bit. It's better to cut it too far away from the corner than too close to the corner. Um, but about 30 degrees as a starting point is a good way of doing it. And it's a very nice method of, um, uh, of doing leather corners. So hopefully that will help.